another example would be the latest free DLC for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, in which you get Mrs. Freeze, who is an Asian lesbianic demon, covered in fucking pride colors, along with the main cast of the Suicide Squad. Because these people can't give... They can't even give it away. That's why it's, it's free. Not, and it's not even connected to Victoria Freeze. It's mm. connected to some random bullshit idea they came up with where oh my gosh she's a roaring lesbian and her girlfriend is frozen or it's like it's frozen or something now she's going on a homicidal rampage dude mr freeze is like one of the coolest characters in the batverse yeah i see what you did there mm. yeah. I mean, fr from my perspective this example of mrs freeze is cold clear cringe yes yeah. you're right. one, of, one of the main reasons why this dlc is free especially the cosmetics in regards to the uh rainbow demons <laughs> yeah. is because the opposition realized that corpo rats utilize rainbow capitalism in which around the pride month and you know the month surrounding it they can get resources from the rainbow demons so they called that out the demons and that's why they're getting these things for free. But even when it's free, more and more people are like, I don't want anything to do with this. Right. This is a caricature. This is insulting. This is something that someone who despises us would do. It's just clear to see that these franchises are falling apart because you can't force people to eat and drink something that they don't want to eat or drink unless you're doing it to a suffragette woman in the 1900s. But the, the dumbest thing was then they tried to tell the fans that, or like who they thought the fans were that, don't worry, it's actually a version of Nora Freeze. Okay. Mm -hmm. She is in the comics, so, but she's not a fucking lesbian. In the comics, there is a version of... Um, that there is in one of the Elseworlds comics, the roles are reversed, mm -hmm. but she looks a lot like you would remember her looking like, but she doesn't ever wear Mr. Freeze's um, cryo suit. And also there's another part of the comics where he does bring Victoria Freeze back to life, but he imbues her with the power of cold. But what we got was this fucking, it just doesn't, she's, uh, it doesn't work. Yeah. Well, Suicide Squad as a game doesn't work. Uh, when right. they originally released it, it had a literal journalism mode as <laughs> my uh, device unplugs itself for some fucking reason. But uh, looking at that game, complete disaster. And yeah. it awakens so many fine folks and fellow creators to the problems within gaming, to the problems of consultancy companies, and without Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, Gamergate 2 would never have come to life. And I personally think the clear and cold cringe that is Mr. Freeze, uh, Mrs. Freeze, uh, you can't tell the fucking difference in this day and age. Have you seen this creature? Pure lesbianic demon. Let's be honest, folks. And from that, there's a reason they released it now. Because by the time the next Pride Month comes around in 2025, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League won't be fucking around and it won't be finding out. This is the only DLC that they're going to release. This is the only character they're going to release because their project is dead on arrival. They've lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Rocksteady's reputation has gone through the fucking floor and there is no redeeming this studio now. What do you guys? Not think? even GTA Six is going to say yeah. it's done. Took the words right out of my mouth, man. Mm. Seriously, that's exactly where I was going to go. Is this is going to affect them across the board, mm -hmm. and I think it already has. And they're just—you may as well just lean into it at this point, man, because mm. the damage is already done. Mm -hmm. Just sell the company. Yeah. they're done. Yeah, I that's mean, right. think about it. Think about Rocksteady. Think about Bioware. Think about Ubisoft, and we'll get into Ubisoft a little later. Think of, Christ, the situation's so bad now, people are giving EA the benefit of the doubt. I mean, when I was on uh, Saturday Night Hypnosis, 
Atreus always had a problem with me, you know, bringing up how bad EA is. Right. And I just wanted to tell him, for fuck's sake, for the best part of 20 years, EA was the devil of gaming. Mm -hmm. The and literal right. it, Satan it of gaming. Yep. And only because everything around them is falling on its fucking face, like Ubisoft, Bioware, right. which technically EA controls, but they don't really bother with it that much, um, Rocksteady, and all these other damn companies. Rockstar is going fucking insane as well. Just because everything else is falling apart doesn't mean we shouldn't criticize the devil of gaming, <laughs> right. which is electronic arts it's because they make all the sports games and we all know black people just love those sports games it's in the game right yeah uh, mm -hmm. well i haven't been a big fan of those games for a really long time i'd say the last football game i played was probably tecmo super bowl mm, that's a lot yeah, my goodness yeah my, oh, yeah my. well i know I, I got into a little bit of the uh golfing games every now and then mm. yeah there was some good ones but oh you mm -hmm. played last of us two then oh yeah <laughs> Uh. You know, I have the golf club that killed Joel. <laughs> there there go. we go. Smash. Mm, right. Scott Steiner gave it to me himself <laughs> when he played the role of, of Abby in The Last of Us 2. But I think of all the games of 2024, the one that is the worst is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Oh, you're right. Yeah, mm. and there's still time, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> going to get into to another great big candidate yeah, for that uh, title. All right, so the mechanics don't work. The story mm -hmm. is shit. The character selections mm -hmm. are god-awful. Voices mm -hmm. are pathetic. Mm -hmm. Then you have all the monetization, which is kind of like introducing people to, I don't know, let's say gambling, because it's aimed at kids. It's worth some deal with Mr. Beast. So, yeah, they're done. We'll get into that a little bit later after we get into uh, into Ubisoft. But yes, Rocksteady are completely finished. EA is a, a devilish company. Castlevania is a great franchise, but I'm sure it'll be fucking ruined by some of these fuckers. Oh, they already the started it. Yeah. I mean, the disease is already spreading across the world, folks. That is why yeah. I said earlier on in the show that our opposition cannot be stopped by conventional means it doesn't matter how wealthy you are or how poor you are or how black you are or how female you are or how crippled you are or even how jewish you are this ideology is infecting everything if it can infect the son of the richest man on planet earth who can send rocket ships into space then no one is safe from the corrupting influences of woke ideology whether it's in politics popular culture gaming or even music yeah oh almost especially music hmm. yeah there's a lot of that going on in that but yeah i'd say castlevania got hit by that bug already when they did nocturne um Ooh. which uh, oddly enough was about the french revolution mm. but it was they centered it around black people <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> very, very strange. But, you know, that's what happens, you know. You you either die young or live long enough to see yourself become the villain, right? Jesus Christ, where would Kurt Cobain or George Carlin be right now? Probably laughing yeah. at his face. No, they'd probably be where Gary Busey is. Fucking <laughs> insane. <laughs> yeah, right. My, my. <laughs>